بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear CEA 116 students to another tutorial for programming essentials in Python course this is going to be a continuation of the explanation that we started in the previous two tutorials about conditional statements or in other words if statement okay so we're going to give another example or we are going to solve basically the examples uh, some examples available in your Anita CAD, okay, account module 3. So I am accessing this lab. You should remember one thing, students. Uh, most important thing when you solve a, a problem or a lab or a, an example is understanding the problem itself. Because as we discussed earlier, early in the class or in this semester, programming is used to solve problems real-life problems so you have to understand how to solve the problem before you can write a program to solve it you need to understand the logic behind this problem and how it's going to be solved okay and then writing the program is going to be uh, let's say the easy part because if you know the syntax you know the structure of the program language you're going to be okay but you need to understand the problem itself clearly so this is what students might uh, might this is the, the one of the issues students might have when they do their exams or solve problems okay so as you can see in the in the lab on the labs available in your NetaCAD account I'm under your NetaCAD account you have a clear explanation of your problem and then a test data that you can use to test if your program is if you wrote the program correctly or not so this time I'm going to use the the sandbox or the online the NetaCAD platform I'm not going to use the Python IDLE to solve the issues to solve the problem so I'm starting with this example okay it is about tax calculator so it's gonna calculate the tax okay I'm not gonna read everything you can read it and you can take your time to read it later on but I'm gonna make it uh, larger and then we're gonna discuss the main thing in this prob in this scenario basically you have you are living in a city and as usual you have to pay a tax okay so how you are going to pay the tax the tax is going to be you're going to pay a tax based on your income so as you can as you notice when you pay a tax depends on your income you need an if statement because when we say oh uh, in other words you're going to make a decision right a decision should be made based on a condition or on a test or on something okay so this is why you need to use F so first step step to you or to solve the the problem or example or exam is to understand the problem and then de decide which command to use okay so at this example they are telling us if the citizen income was not higher 85 point something Sellers, let's say dinars. This is some kind of currency for this land of milk and honey, which is uh, a fiction land here in this example. So let's say if your income is more than 85 thalers, if it's not higher than 85 thalers, the tax is going to be that way. Else, the tax is going to be that way. So this is why you need to use if statement. Before using if statement, you need to read the income. So as you can see here, they already wrote the code for us. Income equals float bet between a parent between parentheses. We have the input statement. Enter the annual income. Okay, and then we are going to put our code here. As you can see, put your code here. So we are going to put the code. But before putting the code, uh, let's see how we are going to calculate the tax. It says here if the tax is not higher than 85 which means less than or equals this number the tax will be 18 percent of your income minus this number so in other words it's going to be I'm going to write uh, open a notepad to show you the equation that you have to know it's not given to you it's given to you as a, uh, as a description so the tax will equals 18% multiplied by the income you see 18% of the income it means income multiplied by 18% which means 18 divided by 100 this is 18% you see 
you make it like this or you multiply 18% by income it's the same thing then after doing this you should add this to 556.2 which is available here oh sorry subtracted minus 556 and 2 cents which means 0.2 so this is the first equation if this is less than you see not higher which means less than or equal so if this is if the income less than or equal the value otherwise which means higher than the value it's a bit more complicated a bit it's not complicated but uh, anyway let's see the income uh, if the income was higher than this amount the tax was equal to they are trying here to give us the equation to calculate the tax so else or we are speaking English so otherwise we are not speaking Python yet otherwise the tax is going to be 14,000 point something which means 14839 this comma means thousand so we don't put it here because it's a number 0.2 cents so 0.2 plus we're gonna add 30% of the surplus over 85 point something so any value over than 85 you're gonna multiply it by 32 percent and then you add it to this amount so if, how do we calculate this again this is math uh, so first of all you need to calculate this value by doing what saying income minus 85 point or not point sorry 528 so this is gonna give me the surplus okay or the difference between these values and now this difference I'm gonna put it between parentheses this difference is gonna be multiplied by 32 okay so I'm gonna say I'm gonna put those uh, between the parentheses and then say 32 percent multiplied by that okay so that or that or this multiplied by 32 whatever whatever you want is the same basically it's the same thing it's going to be here so whatever you use it's okay both will work okay uh, basically I'm gonna go for this for one reason so when you read this you do exactly what they, they say this value plus 32 percent which means 32 over 100 of the surplus the difference of any value overcome over this value so for example if you're income around 90,000 it's going to be 90,000 minus 85 is going to be 5,000 only you're going to multiply the 32 by 5,000 by 5, and you're going to name your file tax calculator okay now it should accept one floating point value the income this is the income next it should print the calculated tax rounded to full fellers there is a function named round okay thank you for your answer here uh, this is the function tax equals round tax comma zero this just rounds the tax to make it without decimal points to zero decimal points and then you print the tax is tax thalars or dinars or dollars or euros or whatever okay uh, note this happy country never returns money to its citizens so if the calculated tax is less than zero it means the tax is zero or no tax at all okay so I need to do another statement as you will as we will do in a minute to test if the tax if the calculated tax is less than zero we make it zero okay so now let me start by I'm gonna copy this here okay because I have these two already written for me I don't need to write them again so I'm gonna put them okay first of all I need to write an F statement now if my income less than or equals 85 5 to 8 which is this value here or this value here it's not higher it means less than or equal then colon and I leave tab the tax is, is or equals income multiplied by 18 percent minus this value 556.2 as you can see uh, coding it's very easy just you just need to understand how to calculate it 
in math so basically if you have issues you might have issues with your math skills okay uh, hopefully you will not have anything else which is if it's not less than or equal it means higher than this we're gonna calculate the tax based on that okay so I'm gonna test the application oh sorry I'm gonna test the program based on the test data I have and see if my solution is correct or not so first of all I'm gonna enter 10 thousand very good same value so I'm good a hundred thousand sorry again we run it again hundred one two three one nine four seven zero one nine four seven zero now what about if it is hundred you see it's zeros let us see what's gonna be our result when it's hundred thousand or hundred we're gonna have minus we need to avoid this because we said if the tax is less than zero then that there is no tax at all so it's gonna be here after we calculate the tax which basically this case here if it's less than we are gonna say if tax is less than zero sorry then tax equals zero that's it we just force the tax to be zero if it's less than zero so no minus values so you can do this okay now it is thousand you see it's zero just like this okay oh you can say 0, 0.0 if you want because uh, this this time um, I uh, sorry I didn't say equal income so the tax becomes flawed because of the income but here no income so I make it like that play one more time 100 is going to be 0, 0.0 as well so based on the test data I'm okay my solution is correct and this was the the first example on or oh, another example on if statement this time it's called tax calculator so I'm gonna name it here control C I'm gonna put it as a comment tax calculator and basically you can copy this to your Python file I'm gonna copy it control C I'm gonna open the IDLE Python IDLE I guess I already have the file created I already did this before I'm gonna just paste it here tax calculator you see these things and that's it control C I'm gonna send you this file on teams uh, or, or basically I'm gonna put it with the video folder with the videos folder so you can download it and test okay thank you very much and see you in the next video